Hello, people of YouTube. So as the title suggests, this is going to be a PlayStation 2 collection video. Um, yeah, so what got me into the PlayStation 2? Well, as most people did at the time, uh, I wasn't, well, I wasn't lucky enough to get a PlayStation 2 on launch. However, I waited about a year later, I think when the first price drop went down, I can't remember where, I think it must have gone down to like, I think it was £400 and it went down to £300. Uh, it's, I remember it being quite dear, but it was cheaper than getting a DVD player. As everyone probably attests, that's what we did. And I got it to watch DVDs, majorly. Um, I kind of got a bit out of gaming at that point. I just had a Dreamcast. And I, had, I, even, I didn't sell the Dreamcast to get PlayStation 2. I think I even sold the Dreamcast before that. I know, yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> Especially, you know, like what I collect now and everything like that. It's quite, quite strange, really. But yeah, I was more into going out and stuff like that. So it'd be good to go home and put a DVD on. Um, just sit with people, friends and watch a DVD. People, none of my friends are really gamers or anything like that. Well, at least we all grew out of gaming, um, I guess. Um, but I used to have Street Fighter and something else. And um, I can't remember what was the other game? But yeah, it wasn't, I used to have games, but I just didn't have many of them. Um, yeah, so I moved to Leeds and my friends actually, um, like my housemates used to be the managers at the skate park there and it was sponsored by PlayStation at the time and they actually got some games like sent to them like before they'd come out because there was there was going to be supposed to be shown and played in the skate park and so I got to play God of War just before it came out and flipping out that our house just played that constantly but that was about it we, we just we didn't really I didn't play many PlayStation 2 games so what got me collecting them then? Well, um, I used to collect NES at the time as well. Um, when I got back into gaming uh, about 10 years ago, um, I started collecting for the NES because I was more into like games that were like short burst and everything like that. I did try of getting a 360 about a year or so before that, but I sold it. I just, I just couldn't get into it. Um, so I thought the end, I thought the NES would be the way forward really and I then got a massive collection. I think it was very influenced by the angry video game nerd as well <laughs> as a lot of other NES collectors did. But then I, uh, so I, eventually I got a PlayStation 2 in my travels when you're trying to get, when you got, back then you used to get a lot of lots and sometimes the lots would have certain things with extra consoles in. It, it was a very different market back about eight, years ago even um, you could get for 50 quid you could get a playstation 2 with an nes and a master system all in the same lot for about 50 quid with games it's crazy how different it is now <laughs> and yeah i just collect i kept the playstation 2 and i actually started playing it and everything like that so i got rid of my nes uh, system because i just thought i'll just emulate all that stuff i'll just play that and i thought i'll keep my play my disc based stuff because It'd be harder to emulate that stuff because I really got back into gaming. I even got a 360 and I started enjoying that more and everything like that. Um, but yeah, my collecting bug didn't stop. I thought it was going to. And I, with all the car boots I kept going to, my, end, my PlayStation 2 library just grew and grew and grew. <laughs> so it was a bit crazy. So yeah, I would be ended up tra trading in 360 games for the for the cheaper PlayStation 2 games and back when CEX used to do like one order you could order like multiple games for PlayStation 2 which were like 50p or a pound and pay like £2.50 postage whereas now you obviously pay postage for each item that you order so that was a very easy way to like build up the stocks and back then no one really took the manuals out you used to have manuals with 90% of your games, PlayStation 2 games, especially the expensive ones, they used to come with everything. <laughs> Which again, as I say, different different now. People take them out to sell and, and I know that's what people do, but that's for another story, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, I'll probably do this in one to three, oh well, two to three parts, I'd imagine. Um, I'm going to probably get to about an hour's point um, and 
once I get to that point, I will then make a new video. Um, I'll try and stop it at certain letters so I can label them up so people know where to go to if they're looking for a certain game, if I've got that certain game. And I won't be talking about every game. I don't know about every game, to be honest. Um, I know roughly the collectability of them all. Um, and I've probably not played too many, to be honest. But that's what I like about this collection. I do like a lot of the games and they're there ready to play. Um, so yeah, I'll start it off now. So back in the game room now. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot to go through on this video. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as I can. So first up, I'd like to say, uh, mention about all these forward facing games. Now I've done this for two reasons. Firstly, and mainly because of the awesome artwork. It's such a shame to have things put up onto the side so you can just see the spine artwork. I love to see games forward facing, but obviously after time they slowly disappear. I just want to get, because it's also a way to uh, future proof uh, my shelving space. So I think every time I get some new games, um, I have to knock one down and I get about six extra spaces after that. Uh, so yeah, um, what else have we got? We've got uh, well, we've got one box PlayStation 2 up here. Um, I try not to have too many console boxes out because obviously of space issues and everything like that. But I have another silver PlayStation 2 box uh, somewhere. Um, and also this console here. Uh, this is a TV and a PlayStation 2 all in one unit. Um, it's a Bravia something or other, some, some code. But yeah, so this bottom piece here is the actual PlayStation 2 where the controller goes into, but it's actually attached to the TV. Um, it was only sold in uh, Europe and in the UK, it was only sold through Richer Sounds. So yeah, it's a pretty cool piece to have um, if you're a PlayStation 2 collector. And I think just as a console collector as well. Um, it obviously plays, plays PlayStation 1 games still, which is a great thing for what playing them in good quality because you can't play um, through component on PlayStation 1 um, on PlayStation 2. And talking about component, um, my modern TV in my living room um, doesn't have component cable input, so I've had to resort to getting this. This actually only just came this week. Now, is it something I can recommend? Not really. Um, it pushes the signal through RGB rather than component, so it just gives it a softer touch uh, through a modern screen. Um, when you've got a flat screen it's great to have it through component really, that's quite good quality but this it's just got a bit of a soft edge and there's a little bit of lag I've, I've, I've noticed and you've got to use quite a lot of cables just to get it up and running. So yeah, so that's that's my PlayStation 2 bits of interest out of the way. Now it's just about the games. So yeah, I'm sure we all know about the Hot Dot Hat games. These are RPGs um, in a series. I think they're like 10 hours each. And they all come with a DVD, which is pretty cool. Uh, 10,000 Bullets, quite an interesting game to have. 1945, great shooters and a great price too. Uh, Seven Sins, now <laughs> this is like a, uh, the Sims clone. And but for adults, a uh, bit, bit rude and I heard this is going to be quite a rare game to get but I seem to see them all over the place um, so if so what else have we got right so Alarm for Cobra 2 uh, 11 or whatever it is now this spawned quite a few sequels on the 360 and I think Playstation 3 as well um, but it was titled Crash Time uh, which were quite hard to get some of them ones um, so yeah, quite a good one to, to have in the collection. Um, right, Aliens in the Attic. Now this one, um, this is actually quite a hard one to get as well. This is an Australian exclusive game. You won't expect it really, because uh, I think it's based on a film. But yeah, quite cool to have. Um, another interesting title, I've, I've picked this up fairly recently. This is sort of like a best of uh, Essentials game. So you've got quite a lot of characters from all the budget games that was released on the PlayStation 2 all fighting together. So yeah, quite quite, quite a cool one. Um, what can we say? Ape Escape 2. Now, what a great game. Picked this up at a car boot quite a while ago. Um, the Arcade USA, another one I picked up recently. Um, only got the Australian version as it's quite hard to find in the UK. Um, 
So, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to talk about some of these games because I've not really played too many of them. But, yeah, these are quite good games to have in the series. Uh, the Armored Core games, I've played one of them once. So, I don't... Is, is any of these games worth... Which one, which one would you say, recommend playing over the rest? So, another great series I'd love to start getting into playing is the R Tonely Tonely Co ones. <laughs> now, don't do what I did. Um, when I got this one originally, I got it from CEX, and I wanted another game that was on there at the time. And when it came, it came. I think it is that is that French or Italian, um, and I thought, well, I want the English version, so I returned this to get the other game and then I never saw it again and I only paid £15 for it now if you know about this series this is the hardest one to get and I made a mistake by returning it so yeah I've learned from that mistake now do a bit of research into some of these games so yeah it plays completely in English and everything like that so it's something that's needed in a collection but yeah um, there isn't an English version of that one. <laughs> um, so what we got, Astro Boy. I know uh, one of these, I think it's this one, is actually a pretty good um, platforming game, uh, like sort of run and gun shooter sort of thing. So yeah, another interesting one to have. And again, more RPGs, a uh, set of RPGs. So yeah, Assault Suit Vulcan. This started off, started off as a Mega Drive game. Um, I think it's called Target Earth in America, but yeah, it's been re-released so many times this game, but such a good game. I've, I've enjoyed, I think, quite a lot of them. <laughs> um, another French exclusive game. So yeah, I've, I've been enjoying these um, these games that are only released in certain, certain locations. So yeah, Baldur's Gate, one I won't mind trying to play soon. A game with Baruch, Baruch, it's sort of like a darker RPG, so looking forward to that eventually. Beyond Good and Evil, now I played that one a little bit actually, oh no, that's not it. Beyond Good and Evil, um, I've played that, a little bit of that one. It seems quite good, but I don't know, there's something about it that just didn't quite grab me. Uh, the Black Buccaneer. Still looking for the book in here. <laughs> uh, Blood will tell. Found that a car boot, um, which is quite good to have. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? The bouncer. Now this actually is one of the one of the games I did actually have on the PlayStation 2 originally, but I think I swapped it for another game or a DVD or something, and I never got it back. <laughs> but. Yeah, so I think this is by Squaresoft, one of the one of the first Squaresoft games that wasn't really an RPG, I, I believe. I think it's quite shocking at the time, um, knowing about it. Um, so obviously you've got to have the burnouts. A few of the Cabela's, I think this one again is another Australian exclusive. So Capcom Collections, obviously need to have them. Car Racing Challenge, I got that recently at the... Um, what was it? Retro, some, I don't know, one, a convention anyway. <clears throat> so, Casual Shikigami, another shooter. So, and it, this is, I think this is my first shooter I actually got on the PlayStation 2. Um, so, yeah, the Castlevanias, obviously need to get them. The Castlevania Curse of Darkness, such a great game. So, you probably notice that some of these games are actually out of sync. <laughs> so, that one really should be before that one, but... Sometimes it's for visual choice. Um, Sid the Dummy. Now this is this is quite an awkward one. I can remember finding this all over the place, and all of a sudden it seemed to dry up. Now I've got the German version here. It's not a proper seal. It's just a hard one. But like this seems to be going for about ten, fifteen quid. And one day I got this for like a few quid uh, because it is German. But because I don't really see it, I just picked it up straight away. Um, another harder to find one, Chemist Tycoon. Well, so we've got Sea Crisis. Now I think this is one of the um, Dest Destruction Day ones. Um, so I think that's quite a fun game to have. Uh, Clock Tower. Great series of games. Then um, quite scary, but good to have. Cold Fear. Now. Another game that 
I really, I really wanted to like this one. This is another survival horror one that's based on a boat, and it, the premise is really good. But I don't know, there was something I couldn't quite get into. Contra, obviously, you'd have to have that. Crazy Fog Racers, yep, another must own game. <laughs> so, yep, that's the first top row. Wow, we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well. So, uh, more Crash Bandicoot. And that's not a Crash Racer. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've not really done really well on this uh, alphabetizing. <laughs> Um, see why girls I think this one's starting to get quite hard to get um, I, I, I remember having real trouble to get it it's not an expensive game but not always easy to get it seems to have like phases <laughs> Darwin another one I think this is a bit like Pikmin um, so yeah interesting to have another Phoenix game I love collecting the Phoenix games but pretty much all the ones I've got left to get are quite expensive and they're all terrible so, see how long that that collection actually uh, lasts for. Another one that is quite surprising, but actually quite hard to find. Despicable Me. So if you ever find this, pick it up. It's uh, it's not easy to get. Um, so this is what's actually playing on PlayStation at the moment. Dino Crisis, uh, Dino Stalker. I think it's part of the Dino Crisis series, but obviously it's a like on shooter. So yeah, this guy has some great games there, strategy RPGs. I can never complete them, I can only play them and, and I really enjoy the aesthetic of it all, but I can never seem to get around to completing them. Um, downhill Domination. <coughs> I definitely a pick of a bunch game of that one. It's a downhill cycling racer, so not expensive, or at least, I don't know, it was quite a long time ago since I got that, so it might change. Drakengard. Now I got this from a charity shop <laughs> when I first started uh, collecting and I knew it was a good series to get but at the time I didn't want to get too many PlayStation 2 games and they had the second one so I thought well rather than just jump into the second I'll just keep the first. Now it's one that seems to command about 20 quid and I don't like spending 20 quid on games <laughs> but then you got a shooter like that which obviously is worth a little bit more but Shooters, you need to you need to get them in your collection. Uh, what else have we got? So the Dynasty Warriors games, like to eventually fully complete that set one day, but we'll see how that goes. Um, nice bit of um, psychological horror there. Uh, Echo Night Beyond, nice one to get in the collection. Uh, a bit of Monkey Island. I've not actually played that one yet, so I'd love to. Um, yeah, so this is a nice little uh, collector's edition of The Evil Dead. It actually comes with the movie. Um, so, in a nice little slip case. So it's quite a cool one to have. Uh, and then, obviously, the sequel there, Evil Dead. Evil Twin, which is supposedly quite a good game. And uh, quite hard to find on the Dreamcast. Uh, well, so Fallout New Vegas, uh, Fallout Brotherhood Steel. Actually, I've got to remember about this one because I really fancy playing that one soon. It's uh, I'm not really into the Fallout series, but this one's more of a top-down sort of like shooter RPG. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, one of the Fail Fury Battle Archives, which is uh, quite cool to have. Uh, I'm pretty certain this is. Quite a terrible little shooter, <laughs> but yeah. Um, got this from a cash converter for, I think, yeah, 199 <laughs> for quite cheap. So again, I think this one's going for about £15. And another one that's quite hard to find, uh, Fire Heroes. I don't know what it is about the fire games. but And another one that's really hard to find, this uh, Fitness Fun. So doesn't seem like it should be, but... And it, and it doesn't really go for much when it does sell, but um, yeah, just tricky, just tricky ones. Um, Forbidden Siren, uh, not actually played that series yet, but one I will get around to doing one day. That's what's good about having all these. They're all there, ready to get before the got all these before they all went expensive. So um, try and get that back. Um, frequency now, I believe this is quite a good uh, rhythm game which is, I think, before Guitar Hero. 
so sort of the like the guitar hero sort of like rhythm sort of style but more more intense i might have to put this to the side and actually play that soon so it's nice doing these videos i can remember i can start remembering what i've actually got <laughs> Um, Gene Troopers, again, another one that like, seems really hard to find. Now, I've got this one and I've got it facing like the spine the other way, mainly because I feel like if you have it like this, it sort of like puts off the the flow of the, the games, if you, if you know what I mean. So I have it turned around the other way. Gigawin Generations. Great shooter collection of games there. Uh, Glass Rose, which this one's a, a Capcom game, but it's like a point and click sort of style. So I've heard it's not very good. Because, well, it's, it's okay, and it would be better if it wasn't for a timer. And Guitar Man, oh, I nearly passed over that. What a game! This is so cool, sort of like a, a proper rapper sort of style game where you got a gr where you use a guitar, but you, you kind of like use your controller to like direct your sound. It's uh, very interesting. It's definitely something to uh, jump on. And another game that you sh everyone should try at least once is the Global Defense series. So um, I've not played the Global Defense Force Tactics, but. I don't think I'll ever will, to be honest. <laughs> and the God of War series. What a series of games. And how can I forget God Hand as well? Played that uh, a couple of years ago for the first time and had such a good time. So two rows down, I think we could maybe do this. It's going to be a long one. I was saying, I'm just trying to skip as many as I can. Um, as there is a lot of crap in the in it like the golden compass um pinball gradius series so you've got three three four and five graffiti kingdom grandia 2 which i've heard a great series now this one i actually got this donated from my sister um so she just knew that i started collecting playstation 2 games and she actually gave me this and i played it didn't know what the hell was going on don't understand this game at all but i believe this is based on a cartoon show some somewhere along the lines but yeah and this one as well like i can remember this was like six quid at cex and i ordered it and it never came and when that happens it really does my head in because then it just makes me feel more determined to get it and i think i eventually got this for like 15 quid or something but which was obviously more than double what i paid for originally <laughs> um I've got this as well. This one was quite a, quite a cool one to find as well. I got this on um, what, another one. What another one of the uh, retailers that sort of like CX, and they were just getting rid of all the PlayStation Two games. And I got this for about I think it was about eight quid, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else? We've got a few of the Guilty Gear games. I think maybe even all of them. I'm not too sure actually. Yeah. So we've got. If anyone knows, I've got three of them so far. If I'm missing one, then let me know. The Gunbird Collection, which is another great uh, collection of uh, shooters. Um, and this one's actually quite cheap as well, so one to actually get. Um, and another exclusive, Australian exclusive game. This one's quite a hard one to find as well. On Halen on uh, PlayStation 2. Very easy to find on every other system, but PlayStation 2, this is quite a rarity really. Um, so I actually got that ship from Australia itself. Now this one's probably my uh, crown jewel to be honest. It's a um, copy of Gun Club for the PlayStation 2, yeah. It doesn't sound like it should be anything, but yeah, this is actually an Italian version. But um, it's actually got the distributor seal on it or something. Well, that's what I believe anyway. Because <laughs> uh, it's got the that sticker on the outside, uh, which is the Halifax sticker. So um yeah i think a lot of the european countries used to unseal them and then the distributor used to send them out to the stores resealed that's what i've heard in forums anyway so yeah it's sort of sealed not sealed <laughs> um and yeah you, you never see this on ebay but as soon as i got this another one popped up and there is an english version but again stupidly hard to find stupidly hard to find um so, what else have we got? 
the Harry Potters, we're missing the rare one or the hard one to find, or at least expensive anyway. Haunting Ground, which I believe is part of the Clock Tower series. I played this and it, you've got like a little dog that you got to shoot out and like do little tasks for you. But again, I, I enjoyed it, but you, the hiding in it just kind of annoys you after a little bit. <laughs> so I just can never play it for too long. Um, Harvest Moons. So you got the Harvest Moon and the Harvest Moon Fishing. Um, Homura, which is another great shooter. Uh, another German exclusive. So this one's Hugo, something in Troll World. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just enjoy collecting some of these like obscure games. And again, I think this, no, I think this, no, that one's, no, that one didn't come out in England either. Everywhere else, I think. Um, Ico, which I've not actually got around to playing yet, but I will do soon because, uh, spoiler here, I've actually picked this up um, on the PlayStation 3, so I'll probably end up playing it on there, to be honest. Um, right, what else have we got? Another... No, I can't remember if that one's a tricky one. That one's not too bad. But yeah, this one's really hard to find. Another Phoenix one. Goes for silly money for no reason at all. Um... And yeah, just not worth it unless you're a crazy person. Uh, Johnny Bravo, right? Not many people talk about this one. Um, I've not actually played it, it's a collection of mini games, I believe. But it's one of them that has times where you'll find a couple on eBay or you'll find none on eBay. So, <laughs> yeah, good to have in your collection. If you ever see this, just grab it. Uh, Kada Racers, which is quite a cool little racing series. And the King of Fighters games, so nice little box set there. And Kingsfield, so yeah, one of Metro 3D finest uh, games that they've actually released. I need to get rid of that sticker there, don't I? Uh, <coughs> Kingdom Hearts, I've never actually played any of these, but. I mean, I love the, the, the sort of metallic covers that's on them. I just love that. I wish more PlayStation 2 games had that. I think in America they had quite a lot like that, so it's just a shame that we never actually got that. Um, another French exclusive, Karuko, with a strange naked boy running on the front of it. Uh, Knights, of, Knights of the Temple 2, very hard one to find that one. Klonoa 2, flipping awesome game, awesome game, need to play it. If you like your platformers, that's one to get. One that everyone seems to be talking about recently, uh, Q1, which is uh, sort of like a multi-region one. There is, I don't think there is a just an a English-only one. So, yeah, cool to have. Same with the Lupicel Tactics. And the two Lupin games... Hang on, they made it the same game. Well, no, they're, they're different games. For just notice that ship free, free. I thought that the same sprite there. Well, looping guy was the same sprite, or at least drawing. But no, they're two different ones. <laughs> Worried myself there for a little bit. <clears throat> Legend of the Dragon, not Legend of Dragoon, that never actually came out on the PlayStation 2. Legend of Sayuki, now this one is a pretty cool game to have. I think it's called Heavenly Creatures in America. Um, and it's sort of a spiritual successor to um, Pocky and Rocky. So it's sort of like one of them, sort of, it's sort of like a shooter, but yeah, you walk around shooting like multi-directional. So... Yeah, a really good one to have, and it's sealed. But I have played it because I've actually got it on the Wii as well, so that's the way I've played it. Which, the control's not great on it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I have been tempted to open that one up and play it again, because it was a really good game. <clears throat> so, yeah, what else have we got? Mad Maestro, which is an interesting game. There we go. So, you, you actually play as a, a maestro. So, yeah, cool to have. Same the Magna Carta and the Mackay Kingdom, which I think is part of the Disgaea world, to be honest. Um, another strange Phoenix game to have. 
uh, <clears throat> and again more Phoenix weirdness yeah I've, I've got a bit of obsession with these budget games and uh, yeah Mega Man uh, we've got we've got all the Mega Mans for the PlayStation 2 I've played that one so far and it was absolutely horrible <laughs> so I've heard this one does get it a bit better but I'll get around to that later on so yeah the Metal Gear Solids um, recently got this off Mark Burned Out Culture so thanks again for that mate uh, metal slugs we've got I, I don't understand why you've got metal slug 3 4 and 5 as they're all on this so just a bit of a waste of packaging but just cool to to have Michigan report from hell not the English version unfortunately but I will get that one day <laughs> I, I do want to upgrade some of these to the English ones uh, eventually but obviously Money is a bit of an issue. So we've got two Midway Arcade treasures here. And the reason for that is they've both got different front covers. So they're the same game, but they've just got yeah different covers. So I don't really do that too often, to be honest. But that one I just thought was quite interesting. Especially because the one actually says Midway Arcade Treasures 1 and it fits in with the theming of the rest. And this one's just completely its own game. So I guess I was going to do that one and I realised... Uh, that was onto something and then needed to make it into a trilogy. So yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right, so what have we got over here? Mobile Light Force 2. So picked that up recently on the PlayStation 1. Um, I think this one's Castle Shikigami 1, I can't remember. And then, yeah, they're, they're just a strange branding. So uh, Monster Attack. Now this one is the first of the Earth Defence Force series or Glo Global Defence Force series, so not not an easy-ish one to get. It's not it's not too bad, but it's not a bit expensive. Not not expensive, sorry. And Mr Mosquito, which is <laughs> again another one I really need to get around to playing. And I recently picked up one of these at the car boot, so quite cool to have. Um, my horse and me too. Yeah, got to have a bit of horse action into in your uh, collection. Uh, what else have we got? Um, Namco Museum. Love these collections, and a lot cheaper on the PlayStation Two than the GameCube. Another, I think this one's a Dutch exclusive. This one, um, not too sure because it's very American. It's Nickelodeon, and I've never heard of the Naked Brothers band, but. Yeah, it never came out over here. It came out in America, like, but just never in uh, the English-speaking ter territories over here. Neo Contra, look at that cover. Oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to get down onto my knees now. It's getting quite quite low. So, um, Nightshade. This one is actually a sequel to the Shinobi on the PlayStation 2, which is a bit of a, a bit of a hard game to to play. Really, sorry about that. Um, Obliterate, sort of. A, a shooter, sort of like a point blank sort of shooter. Odin's Fear, great game. I picked this up for like, I think it was like 20p or something, 50p from the car boot in the middle of some tools. <laughs> Such a weird place to have got that. Uh, Akami, named my dog after this game, but never actually got around to completing it. <laughs> so the One Piece games, um, this one actually didn't come out in England again. Um, but I think it's all in English, so I got that on a nice little trade with someone. Um, what have we got? Party Girls. Of course, you need a bit of that in your, in your life. For Rapper, Rapper 2, another cool game, and I won't mind playing this again actually soon. Um, the Persona games. Uh, so we've got Persona 3 FES and Persona 4. And I don't know whether I should put these in with the S's, as they're, obviously they're all start off with Shin Megami Tensei, but on the spine to say P, so it's one of them games that you just don't know what to do. Uh, another cool little RPG. Um, need to look into the screen more. Sorry if this has been going off angle at all too much. Project Zero for the series, which I'm currently playing the Wii one at the moment, so it's a pretty good game actually. Um, not too sure how these ones all play compared to that one, but really fun. You use a camera to shoot at the shoot the ghosts. Psychonauts, 
one I have actually played and it's absolutely fantastic. So uh, I really need to play the VR game of that because that sounds quite interesting. Um, more 505 weirdness. Uh, Raiden 3. Obviously great shooter. Great shooter. Uh, Ratchet and Clank games. And a flipping platinum game. I still need to upgrade that one. Keep forgetting which one it is that I've got because I do see them all the time. And Raw Danger, this one's a pretty cool game to have. Another one that never came out in England. But again, I think it's all in English. Um, the Red Star. Played that recent, not well, recently, about a year or two ago. Really fun. Um, we'll say isometric shooter. So pretty cool to, to have. Again, got my um, Steelbook face that way so you can actually see what it is. Uh, res, cheaper than buying it on the Dreamcast. So, Rig Racer 2, a bit of a strange game, but cool to have again. Ring of Red, now I've heard this is a bit of a, this is a, bit of a hidden gem, this one. I will get around to playing, it's quite heavy that one as well. Uh, rolling. Favorite game of mine. One, I think, again, one of a handful of games that I actually had as a kid. Uh, Rogue Galaxy. Now, I recently played this this year, and I think this is probably so far at least top top five PlayStation Two games. Um, probably one of the favorite action RPGs I've actually played as well. So cool to have. Room Zoom. This one's really getting tricky to get I know on the Xbox this is like I think probably the hardest game to find on the Xbox but it's actually getting quite tricky to get on the PlayStation 2 as is this one again I think this one's quite hard to find um, it seems to be one of them ones that no one seems to be looking out for so it's either on eBay or not on eBay but I think I got this from CX for like four quid so um, which would have been nice we've got this for CX for four quid but um, I didn't actually pay that much. I didn't break my £100 rule for this, so all is good. So, yeah, I think people know what that one is. Uh, R-Type, great shooter, very hard. Um, not massively fan of the 3D sort of models on that one. Um, another tricky to find Phoenix game. Samurai Showdown Apology, nice English version as well. So happy to have that one in the collection um, one I would love to have is an English version um, I actually ordered an English one once upon a time but I think it came I think I won it for like 18 quid plus postage and it never arrived <laughs> that and another game I bought from the guy as well and it never came so I've uh, he never sent it or at the time my postman was terrible so I think it's more towards the postman to be honest so a bit sad bit sad about that one really um but again it plays in english so it's not too bad sea monster is a pretty cool interesting one to get and i've actually found this one at the car boot as well so cool to have and another seems to be quite a hard one to get even though it's quite a, a well-known series of games because it's part of the ratchet and clank series this one seems to go for some silly money obviously you know you've seen my secret where i'm getting all these uh, harder to find games from so Shadow Hearts, again another one I found at the car boot, but um, not all of them, just I think it was that one. Um, well, so we got over here. So right, so this is again, this is what we're saying. So we're back into the Shin Megai Tensei um, games. So should the Persona games go with these? And I'm a bit gutted about this because I actually bought the first one on... Um, the, the Digital Devil Saga 1 from the car boot. Uh, it wasn't in the best condition, but it would have been great to have just had as a shelf filler up until now. But the reason why I've got two is, let's put these down here. Let's put these down here. So they're actually different. This one's just the normal one and this one's the collector's edition. So you get a few extra bits and pieces in that one. Um, but yeah, as I say, I, I, I think because at the time I had my games all double stacked and I just didn't know what I had. So I just returned, I took it to CX and traded it in 
and then when I put everything up I was like oh I've only got one of them <laughs> so yeah a bit of a shame but yeah this one's a bit I've heard that one's pretty good to play so a bit of a darker version of the Persona because sometimes the Persona games can get a bit uh, high schooly. <laughs> so talking about um, Persona we've got another Persona 3 uh, this one's the original one I think the, the FES one has extra bits and pieces to it so and as we were talking about earlier there's Shinobi uh, another one that's quite a, a good one to find if you do Shinobi Shinobido uh, what else have we got the Silent Hill collection now I've not got many of the Silent Hill games I've only got three of them uh, so I'd love to get Origins um, as this one comes with I think is it a uh, three and four so cool to have and yes this one is a platinum game however this one actually has more bits and pieces than the actual cardboard one so this one's actually the definitive version to get and uh, a bit of shattered memories as well so nice to have the english version of this one because i did actually have i think it was a french one uh, and i managed to upgrade it so uh silent hill arm so another armored core game another still feed game and now this one's got a second cover as well and I'd love to get that one and I would have them as both eventually not one I'm desperately looking for but I'd like to grade it one day nice Phoenix uh, skateboarding game I'm sure that is absolute class SNK SNK classics too it's just a shame we never got a second one of these this that would have been absolutely fantastic but such a cool collection to have I've actually gotten a Wii as well so yeah, I, I do some strange things sometimes. Uh, Soul Divide, nice sealed copy there, nice English one, which is a bit sad. I think I might actually get this on the Dreamcast, uh, not the Dreamcast, the Saturn, so I can actually play it because I don't. It's not too expensive on the on the Dreamcast. It's just got a bit of a price to it. Um, Space Channel Part Two, I think this is this. Well, it's the multi-language one. It's it's got it's English, but it's not the just English version. But it's just nice to have sometimes. And another interesting one to get, look out for. So I suppose this is a bit like a, an afterburner sort of game, but a bit like a bit crazier. <laughs> so I think that one's quite a good one to actually play. Sit down and play. Special Forces, which is another Essentials game. Uh, Splatter Matter. Played a bit of this, and I need to go back to play it again because I think I played it just to try it out. Um, but yeah, really bizarre game. <laughs> Um, we've got the Spyros, we've got the Star Ocean with the demo, with the, sorry, the bonus disc, which is good to have. Uh, Steambot Chronicles, one that just looks incredible and I'd love to actually get around to playing that one. Stella Deuce, uh, which I believe is a sequel of something. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha used to love them games as a kid so great to have that back into the collection the Sukodans oh got that them the wrong way around so we've got Sukodan 4 and 5 we never got Sukodan 3 over here which is a bit of a shame Sukodan Tactics as well um, so I've only actually played Sukodan 1 and 2 so far so again so if these this camera goes off because I, I need to start actually looking through the viewfinder um, so Tengai, another great shooter for the PlayStation 2. So as you see, I actually went for uh, shooters and RPGs, and I'm so glad I did because now the price of them are absolutely shooting through the roof. So uh, what else have we got? 23. This one's quite a, an interesting one to get. Um, it's got like a German symbol on the front. But it's in English at the front because the rest all seem to have the as their uh, regional dialect. But it's actually got English as the top top, top language, and I don't get that. That's the one release I really don't understand. <laughs> but I wanted it with the rather than a regional dialect, even though we've got things like this, which is again another one that never came out in England. <laughs> uh, 
Trapped, which again I've heard is part of a another series that's come out on the PlayStation 4 recently, and I never knew that. Um, so it's good watching people's videos. I think V8 supercars. I think this one's uh, quite a hard one to find. I'm not too sure. It's one of these V8 supercars Australia. Anyway, can't remember where I got it from, but this one definitely is definitely one to look out for. Urban constructor. Yeah. So it's sort of like I think it's pretty much like kicks, um, except with buildings. So <laughs> cool to have, I guess. I'm gonna put this in the wrong place, aren't I? Um, anything more interesting there? Uh, Unlimited Saga, nice little edition there. I think that only came like that in edition. And another one I've got two of. I don't know why really, but yeah, such a cool cover on the Ultimate Spider-Man. <laughs> I think it's just because the trade value of that is not really enough for me to, to take it back. I don't know. Um, I suppose when I get more, need more space, I probably will. Veggie Tales. I believe this is based on a TV series. Uh, Wacky Zoo, another one of the Phoenix ones that's pretty tricky to get. Um, what else have we got? We Love Katamari. Oh my goodness, love this series. This series games played. I've played them all pretty much. I think. Well, like, I'm not too sure. This. I think the first PlayStation Two one I have played on mobile, unfortunately. Oh, and uh, another couple of uh, cool platforming games there. Uh, Beautiful Joe by Capcom. Great to have. Uh, the Wild Arms series. And this one was the bane of my life for the longest time. I think I ordered about five copies from CX over a year or so and they all came and it was all a different uh, language and I eventually just stumped, gave up and I bought one of the, the foreign language ones for about 30 quid off eBay um, but then I went to CX one day and I saw that they actually had the UK one uh, so I had to get it straight away because <laughs> as I say this was a thorn in my side for such longest time um, Wipeout Pulse, this is based on the PlayStation Vita, uh, not PlayStation Vita, PlayStation P uh, game, which because of that makes it quite hard to find for a Wipeout game at least anyway. Uh, Wizardry, another great series to have. World Fighters Anthologies, I love these Anthologies one, I just need to get the Sanguko one next and then I've got them all. Um, what else have we got? The Zeno Saga. Now we didn't get the third one. This is the only one that we got. In fact, I don't really know much about the Zeno series. One I would love to try and, and actually get into because I've heard they're quite good. And talking about quite good, another shooter, another one that's quite cheap, relatively cheap. So one to pick up for CERN. And the Yakuza games. Great to have. The Yakuza 2s are actually dropping in price all the time. It used to be about 50 quid game, now it seems to be quite well, it's usually going for about 25 30 quid. Uh, the Zombie Hunters, another interesting one to get. Got that from uh, Manchester Market last year on the first one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, la the last of it. So we've got this one, which is un an, an unofficial game. It should come in a red case, but unfortunately the one that I've got is black. Um, so yeah, it's just got like a load of like arcade sort of games just being remade. But yeah, I believe this has got some Game Boy Advance game in it as well, because I think they used the Game Boy emulator to make one of the games. And it's actually got, if you go on the code, you can actually play the Game Boy game that's on it. I can't remember what it is. It's a Nintendo franchise, something like Metroid or Zelda or something like that. And <laughs> it's quite, it's, how Nintendo let that go, I don't know. More so than PlayStation. But you can't actually play it through PlayStation 2 normally. You have to ha actually do some hacking and stuff like that. And, um, whether or not this can do it or not, this is the Exploder, which obviously can you can use to cheat on your games. So yeah, 
we're at the end now now it's playstation 3 which i will probably do next and i can probably put a bit more time into actually the games that i've got so yeah any of these games um if if you saw any game that you think was quite interesting and you want me to talk about again i mean i went over out outrun 2 so there's there's still loads i've not actually really talked about so if you did see anything just let me know and i could make maybe do a follow-up if any, anyone's interested and uh, talk about some of the games so yeah that's my playstation 2 games as of august 2019 uh, obviously, I'm not going to go for a full set. Not, I think I'm at probably about a third of the way there, just over a third of the way there. I think I've got just under nine, between 850 and 900 games with all this lot. So, yeah, if I was to go for a PlayStation 2 full set, I'll be taking over my whole house, and I'm not doing that because there isn't that many more games I really like to get. There's the Sly series, I'd love to get them. They're a big mission in my collection um mainly because i don't want to pay out for them because i've got a feeling that i'll pick them up at a car boot i've been saying that for five six years and i've still never found one at the car boot although i've seen other people do it so yeah that's my lot so thanks for watching thanks for getting this far at least anyway so yeah cheers bye